Hello, my brothers and sisters. Welcome back to another Russia Pint episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends and the Dryer. And tonight, my brothers and sisters, we're having our Just Our Tea, episode 30, starring the Dryer. I love the Dryer, actually. I could sit next to the Dryer and drift off. There's something about that drawing it gets me. Uh, yeah, we're having a beef stew cooked in the slow cooker. I'm using the beef that I got at Christmas uh, that Lou bought me and I, I portioned it up. I've still got a big piece left and a big bag of dyes and that's what we're using in this. Uh, and I know I've done beef stews, beef casseroles and stuff like that a million times before. But like I said, this is just our tea and guess what? We're having it for our tea. run through of what I've got like I said there's that beef I've had it out at freezer since last night look at it shoulder steak chuck steak diced nice and chunky we want it nice and chunky whoop, whoop, nearly. nice bit of fat content give it taste give it flavor taste and flavor are the same fucking thing Chris we got some carrots we got some potatoes we've got two onions we got some salt we got some pepper got some plain flour and we've got some Worcestershire sauce now doing anything beef wise stew wise you need Worcestershire sauce uh, I haven't got any garlic I've run out of garlic so <laughs> we'll have to not have fucking garlic in it I suppose but uh, yeah and uh, if you can see there there's my crock pot there you go I've got a bag to put the beef in the flour the salt and the pepper and I've got the fill down here which I'm gonna uh, fry the uh, Beef off in, sear it off, I'm going to sear the carrots, I'm going to sear the potatoes, I'm going to sear the onions, well not sear onions, I'm going to cook them in that pan, uh, add a bit of bovril and put it all in the slow cooker and then leave it and not touch it for about 8 hours, it's currently it's currently 11am on Sunday morning so uh, I better get cracking uh, otherwise we won't be having this till tomorrow tea time. As you can see there I've got a trusty bag for life, I'm going to go in with a bit of plain flour this is just to coat the beef in really I think that should do it, I don't want to overkill it do I uh, a bit of salt a bit of pep, pep, pepper go on play it again, play it again oh whoops a little, a little bit more than a bit of pepper we're going to get our beef here, there we go from Christmas get it in, I won't try not get the juice out of the bottom of the pan I have had it out and I have dried it off a bit but as you can see there, there's still some blood in the bottom of there. I don't want that in there. I really don't want that in. There you go. The sink, you go. And uh, as you've seen loads of times we do, just get it back, get some air in it, and give it a good round angle. There you go. Oh, get up, flower everywhere. And that is what we're looking for. Right, let's get uh, searing this beef off. Right, let's start searing this beef. I'm going to do it in batches because I want it to sear. I don't want it to stew, if you know what I mean. And you're supposed to, when you put beef in a hot pan, you're supposed to put, put it in away from yourself. Not like I just did then. Make sure you dust off the excess flour. You don't need all that flour in there. The flour will make the juice sort of thing, you know, thicken the gravy. Because everything in this pan right now will be going essentially in the uh, crock pot or the slow cooker, whichever you've got. So uh, I'll bat on here. I've got a bit of this to do and I'm going to be back with the, uh, the veggies. You can see there, there, the beef is sealed. The pan is still red hot with all the juices off that. Uh, the beef in there, the flavour. And I've decided I'm only going to do the carrots in here. The onions and the potatoes, there's no point. 
I'm just going to put them in the slow cooker. The onions are already in there. I'm just going to chop the, the uh, potatoes up yet. Uh, and I've not peeled these, and I've not peeled the potatoes. Obviously, I took the skin off the onions because who wants that flaky shit in your, in your stuff? So, yeah, this will take a few minutes. Just want to get a bit of colour on these carrots. I'm going to keep agitating them and uh, get some of that flavour off the bottom of that pan on these carrots. I'm also going to drop a bit of bovril in these before I tip them in as well because I want to get the goodness off the bottom of that pan. So, yeah, I'll crack on here and uh, you'll see me pouring some bovril in a minute. Not a lot. Sound like fucking hell, sound like what's he called Paul Daniels then. You'll like it, but not a lot. I've had my carrots on for about six, seven minutes, just kept turning them. And I'm not going to use a lot. Just enough bovril out the bottom of there. Just to hopefully bring that shit off the bottom of the pan. When I say shit, I mean good shit. It, it makes it easy cleaning it as well, to be honest with you, because I've got a shitload of washing up to do. Right. I'm going to let that go for another minute or so and then uh, we'll start putting it all in the uh, crock pot I suppose and then uh, it's just a waiting game uh, I'm not putting uh, Worcestershire sauce on it just yet I'm going to let it go in the slow cooker for a couple of hours before I add that because I just want to get these going and see you know, it's the fact I find with a, the crock pot I've got is it's slower than a slow cooker it's weird, I don't know anyway right, let's get this together so there is the crock pot with the onions already in it I'm going to go in right with the carrots and the gravy and the goodness out of the bottom of that pan see you know how clean that pan is beautiful I'm then going to go in with the, the uh, potatoes chopped unpeeled then we're going to go in that big bowl of beef look at this this smells and looks fabulous there you go I'll probably have to manhandle this and ranjangle it around, but this is this is not gonna be cooked today, this is gonna take fucking hours. Oh dear. And I might have to add a bit more bovril, I don't know, but I've got like a full jug of it here. Are we gonna do it? Hmm, nearly. Tell you what we'll do, tap water. Just rinse out that bovril at the bottom of there so I can top it up. I can always put a bit more bother on it later. There we are, that'll do it. That'll do it. Don't forget, the carrots will sweat down a little bit in there, the, the potatoes will go a bit mushier, uh, and so everything will drop. I'm hoping everything will drop a little bit, but you don't know. So, uh, lid on, full power, and uh, I'll see you in roughly, fucking hell, about, about seven, eight hours. Bastard, I'm hungry now. It's been three hours, and it smells absolutely fabulous. So, uh, it's obviously still got a way to go. Them spuds are still quite hard. That beef's not uh, come down yet. Still, It still needs a lot of cooking, this. It's going to take another three hours, this at least. That's the thing about these crock pots, I don't think they seem to burn or cook as quick as a slow cooker. It should be an extra, these crock pots should be called extra fucking slow cooker. <laughs> anyway, wash this to sauce. That's going in right now. That, I've probably overdone it, but there is quite a bit of stuff here. Bit of stir for good measure. And, uh, whoop, splash it out, look at that piece of beef there. That is going to take some cooking in it. Right. I'll see you in another three hours. So we're on to hour seven. This is virtually done. I don't know what it is, this crock pot. It does seem to do things a lot slower than a normal slow, slow cooker. And I've got it on the highest setting it can have. To be fair, there's a lot of stuff in there. Then Pete, that piece of beef, then piece of beef, uh, uh, let's be honest. Look. Humongous it smells fantastic though, but I, I did have a taste about 20 minutes ago and it's lacking a little bit of something. Not mainly garlic because missing garlic, we really love garlic. It? it is missing garlic because it's a bit of black pepper, a bit of pepper, only a bit of salt because I'm going to thicken it up with some uh, 39p Tesco 
gravy granules. I know you're all saying, oh, you've just ruined it with gravy granules. But that's just your preference now, is it? I like the gravy granules. I like how thick it makes stuff. I'm an ovener. I love thick stuff. When it comes to liquids, I mean, like gravies and stuff like that. Cake and custard. Who loves cake and custard? But the custard has to be like gloop. That smells good. Bit of seasoning now, that's it. Nothing spectacular. That's it. So let that go for another 30 minutes. And I'll be dishing it. Do you know what, brothers and sisters? That for me is done. That has been a seven and a half hours of uh, sheer graft. Uh, sitting on my ass, waiting for it to do its thing. <laughs> But yeah, the beef, the potatoes are soft. The beef is definitely soft because I tried a bit a minute ago. Oh. Look at it. Look at it. Right. Let's get it dished up and down our gizzard. <coughs> there it is, brothers and sisters. Carrots, onions, potatoes and that beef. Which is falling apart. Can't we do it one hand, but there you go. And you know what? This needs. Yeah. Should we do it? Bit of red cabbage. I was toying with putting uh, HP brown sauce on it, but not HP. Yeah, HP sauce. But I decided not to. Because I thought that with the red cabbage would be a little bit too acidic and I uh, won't do my heartburn any good. So I decided against it. Can always put someone after if I want to. Just uh, may I put more fucking red cabbage on fucking side than I did actually in my bowl then. <laughs> there we go. Uh, just our tea, episode 30, and that is uh, beef stew in the crock pot. Crock pot beef stew. Uh, slow cooker beef stew, uh, whatever you want to call it, it's there, it's episode 30. I want to delve right into this, you know, And uh, but it's absolutely mutton lava. It is absolutely scalding up, but do you know what? Sod it, I don't care, let's get a bit of tomato, uh, potato, not tomato, a bit of beef if I can. Yep. Melt in your mouth like butter. Drip on the floor like melting butter as well. The problem is that it's absolutely steaming hot. I got some of the uh, red cabbage then as well. Ho, ho, ho. So I've got a big, big lump of meat on my spoon that I can't eat. Mmm. That beef is so tender. Juicy. I like beef I showed you, just a bit of gravy with a bit of red cabbage on it. Now for a lot of people, I'd probably ruin that with the uh with the gravy granules, but we like that sort of thing in our house. That's another reason why I didn't put a lot of salt in it, because the gravy granules have got a quite high salt base. Oh, that's superb. That is absolutely banging. So that was just our tea episode 30. Have I told you? <laughs> Probably a few times. Uh, and it was beef stew or beef casserole. However you want to do it. It had beef and it had veg and it had gravy and it had bovel. It had, we had red cabbage with it and it were cooked in the crock pot. Or you could put it in a slow cooker. Or you could put it, cook it on the hob. You do it however you want. But I used beef that was left over from Christmas and the potatoes and everything else were cheap as chips. If you've got stuff like that lying around in the, in the freezer, I know if you went out to buy what I got there fresh, you're not talking, you're not talking cheap, are you? So I can't really put this in a budget thing because if you've got to personally get it, then it's uh, it's not very cheap, is it? Leave the beef out, just have that and be boring as fuck, wouldn't it, really? Be cheap, though. All right, anyway. I'm going to leave that there for another 10 minutes because it is, it is absolutely scorching hot. 
That's been switched off, my uh, crock pot's been switched off for 10 minutes and I can still hear the stuff inside bubbling away like a witch's cauldron. Anyway, I love this. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media and subscribe. And become a family member of hashtag Team CT. Be. Where are they? Yeah. Fucking love you.